before we get into the video where are my manners welcome back my house of realness welcome back my ride or dies i cannot i can literally cannot that's like a double like a double take cannot believe you know i'm still like pinching myself like little pinches like is this real is this real girl I don't know if it's real, but I'm going to keep trying. You see, YouTube keep trying me. I got 2,000 as of today. I got 2,000, 2,647 something dot dash zero, zero, zero. So I only got like 2,000 hours realistically. So I need 4,000. So I'm going to keep posting videos here. And YouTube is just going to have to come to the party and recognize that we build in a community here, and this community is beautiful. This community embraces everybody. It's just, but enough of that. Um, let's get to it. Come on. What am I doing? Let's get to it. Enough of this talking. I do too much talking, guys. Please, shout me out in the camera if I'm just doing too much talking. I need to fix that. Oh, look. I have a cardboard laid out to protect my fanny as I sit in the shade of the tree because I have an iPhone 8. It's smashed, I know, but honestly, realistically, until I get a job, I have to work with this because I don't have money to pay the, you know, it's just too much, too much going on. Oh, too much going on. Before we do all this, let's hand sanitize. And we need to do it for 30 seconds. Okay, let me just show y'all since y'all already. Hold on, where are the letters? What's going on? What's going on? Okay, now I'm gonna show you everything that I have. Uh, the boxes are a little heavy. <laughs> Look at that. So three boxes, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We got lucky number seven. Why I had to count that twice, guys? Is this heat? This heat got me delirious. Do not judge me. Um, can I share with y'all? I know I've shared this in a video before, but my favorite movie is The Color Purple. It's my all-time favorite movie. My favorite actor is Whippy Goldberg. Honestly, it's a dream of mine to meet her, like, such an icon. All her movies, Sister Act 1, 2. I mean, those are my personal favorites, okay? So, Ghost. I mean, epic. And my favorite portrayal, The Color Purple, as Seely. Growing up, I watched that movie three times a year. I remember it coming on WB11 around the holidays, like around the winter time, like around Thanksgiving, it would come off for free. And every single time it came on, I was watching it. I remember when we used to have to get, go to the supermarket, like when my mother used to do food shopping. Um, this was back then when the food stamps was actual money, it looked like monopoly money in a booklet i don't know if you guys are that old but i remember going to the supermarket and i remember the food stamps used to be money and that's how we did it and i used to wait online and i used to read the tv guide in the book and i used to see when um all the soap operas was gonna come on and when the color purple the movie the color purple was gonna come on and i remember i love that movie it was always 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 one of my favorite movies because i resonated with Celie so much you know for me Celie was taken away so early in her age not to give spoiler alerts for you guys who haven't seen the movie even if i tell you about this movie word for word verbatim which i can do um it's a movie that you have to see, honestly. It changed my life. It showed me that no matter how hard the times get, no matter how little you feel, no matter how how dire the situation may look and you feel like you're never going to, you know, in that movie, Seely became, comp you know, she was, she had made her peace with life. And I remember that movie and just feeling like I've always felt trapped. I've always felt trapped in a bad situation in life in every sort of walk of life. I just had to make sure I was safe. 
this is sort of like my favorite place to be i like to be under the trees i love the way the trees give like a beautiful like shadowing effect on the skin honestly i never feel i feel more beautiful under the shade of a tree than any other place in the world i feel like sitting under a tree honestly and having the way the light just hits me i feel like i look my most beautiful like i wish i could meet prince charming under a tree like a disney like like a literally like a fairy tale princess i'm just sitting here casually reading a book opening up your letters and he comes and and then you know on a steed and whatever but like i was saying about the movie Celie, she overcame so many obstacles and at the end she she got her version of what happy ending looked to her and that's what i liked about that movie it was the first movie that i saw that it wasn't some cookie cutter fairy tale ending it was the fairy tale ending that was meant for her and that that made me realize that no matter how hard my life was gonna be i was gonna get to a point where i was gonna reach my fairy tale ending like Seely. i honestly love that movie the color purple i watch it three times a year and the hardest times a year for me, Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's Eve. And those are the three times in the year I watch that movie because it just gives me so much hope. So I'm gonna open up the first letter, but this is coming from Milwaukee, Milwaukee. Oh, look at this, this is a nice card. Look at that, look, it has the nap. It has the little race car, that's cute, right? Bone shaker. And then in the back of the card, it has all these little hearts, all these little cute little detailing. That's cute, honestly. So let me open this up. You know what? I need a letter opener. You think that I can find that in a thrift store, like a letter opener? Oh, that would be so bougie. <gasps> oh, look, it's a tree full of hearts. This is so beautiful. Look at the detailing. Look, the card. If you don't see that, it has like a silver iridescent, like almost like branch effect, but they're little, little dots of silver iridescent colors. I know you guys can't see the detail in that, but that is a beautiful, beautiful card. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, thank you so much. That is so beautiful. Ooh, wow, wow, wow. Thank you. I bought a cork board at the thrift store and i'm gonna start putting up your letters as inspirations these guys honestly these are like my little like my little notes of inspiration okay that was a cute card let's open up a letter card this is coming from missouri city texas <gasps> oh i love the stamp look at the stamp hold on i love this stamp guys you know what i'm gonna do honestly i need to find a scrapbook where i can start cutting these out and putting your stamps in honestly i love the stamps please 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 these stamps are giving me so much life honestly i love that oh this is a letter Ooh, a letter letter <gasps> oh yes i know who this is from i know who this is from yes yes i know who this is from oh my god i got it thank you so much oh i can't wait to read these letters in full okay this is this is smoothie king house of realness austin texas Ooh. when i would see letters like this hold on when i would see letters like this i would be like oh that's a bill a past due bill i don't know what i'm gonna do but look at this Ooh, the, I know this is going to be a good thing. It's Smoothie King. Hold on. <gasps> wow. You lying. You know how many passion fruit passports I can get with this? Yo, this is a lot. OMG, thank you. It's tacky to say the price. That's how I was. <gasps> OMG, please stop it. Get yourself that passion fruit passport, mamita. Yo, 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 it's those little things. Yo, it's those little things that give me the ooh la la sensation. Thank you so much. OMG, 
Guys, can I tell you another moment in the movie of The Color Purple? I know, Whippy Goldberg, if you ever see this video, you are my idol. I love you. I can't wait to meet you, Whippy Goldberg. I cannot wait to meet you. But there's a scene where Seely finally gets fed up with Mr. and her and Shug Avery are going through the house and she's searching for something right she's searching for more letters from her sister another spoiler i'm sorry but it's a good movie you have to see it either way it doesn't matter um but listen her and shagari finally under these floorboards they find all the letters and she couldn't even believe it like the way she was holding them and just the joy i felt the joy in that moment i was like yo I can't wait to feel that joy that Celie felt in that movie when she finally found the, the letters from her sister. This is that feeling. I have that feeling. A feeling that I, I saw in a movie. I finally get to, it's like I open these letters and I'm like, oh my God, my family members, like I finally get to hear from them. Oh, this is a beautiful letter. Hold on. Okay. Oregon. Medford, Oregon. Okay, look, look at the stamp. Look at the beautiful red flowers. Look at the pink card with the rose gold trim. Yo, this is very fairy tale princess. This is Hallmark signature. That's money. <gasps> oh, I love this card. Look at that. Oh my, look, why does this look so relatable? This looks like so many of my aunts so many like this literally wow this makes me feel like this looks like people that i knew growing up like that okay you know what i'm saying like i love that i love that this is so beautiful oh look at the inside of the card and the lining it's rose gold for you oh that's good quality thank you so much oh let me get a sip of water i'm not excited Her opener I'm going to try to find one at Goodwill. Ooh. What is this? OMG! Wait, hold on. Hold on. Fans to keep things cool and help you dry, you re dry your rebuild projects. No more worrying about plugging a fan in electricity. We care about you. So proud of you from Mama Glamour. <gasps> oh, I love you. Thank you so much. Yes. Oh, ooh. these are the de-alkaline batteries. This is a big pack. That's heavy. Thank you. Oh. <sighs> yo, yo, yo. Yo, yo, I cannot, I cannot even, yo, yo, this is going to, and it's pink, yo, this is so kawaii, literally, this makes me feel like an anime character, like the modern day Sailor Moon, yo, this is crazy, this is absolutely crazy, I don't want to break it, let me put this away, ooh, 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 I cannot wait to try, <gasps> wait, hold on, are you lying? It has a USB port. Is this a Bluetooth as well? No, I don't know. I have to figure this out. I'm gonna read the instructions. I don't wanna make assumptions. Ooh, thank you. That is so cute. That is cute. Wow. Wow, look how fancy. Yo, I never could afford you Neutrogena face wipes. I would get the Dollar Tree wipes and stuff. Yo, these are the singles. I can put these anywhere. Yo, thank you so much. <gasps> oh, yes, look, in pink. Yo, this is mad cute. Thank you so, so much. Yo, that's crazy. That's crazy. Oh, wow. What? Okay, this is the second box. Thank you so much. I'll be repeating the same thing, but guys, I'll be so shocked. Look, I'm tearing. Ooh. 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 What is that? 
Okay. Hold on. Ooh. That's so cool. Enjoy your gift for your bag. Keep everything nice and clean. Mama. Mama Glamour. I can't. Look in the syndic. Uh, it's in the, the, you hear me? I can't even speak. It's in the exact size. Unzip the mattress and casing for all three sides. This has a zipper. Wow. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Ooh, look, there's a yellow one. Oh, you think it will work with me right now? My head is super sweaty. Oh, look. I don't know. Look at that. Yo, with my curly fro, this is going to look so super cute. I cannot wait to do hairstyles with this. Oh, and it's going to keep the hair out of my neck. OMG, thank you. And these are such beautiful prints. Look, you got a black, a navy, and a neutral, and then a pop of color. You can wear these with so many different colors, guys. Look at that. That's awesome. I love mixing prints. And they literally, it's okay, hear me out. Why this is so cool is because these prints are also neutrals. So this is a neutral print. Light. A neutral print medium, dark, and then your pop of color. That's awesome. Within a print, it's a double. It's a solid and guys, I hope I'm making sense, but this is this is dope. That's super dope. And it comes with a case that you can enclose. This is perfect for storage. Yo, thank you so much. Oh, I cannot wait. This is the last box. <gasps> Look, I have another stove. You can learn more about. I don't know who this is from, but thank you. Now I got two so I can cook two things at once because I only got one. Sometimes, like, okay, you know how like when you're making like bichuelas, para, like bichuelas, right? Like Puerto Rican beans. That's one pot. The rice in the other pot or the other pot, the other pan, I could be frying some sweet plantains because I bought sweet plantains the other day. So what I want to eat tonight is sweet plantains jasmine rice and i want um sweet plantains jasmine rice and corn i couldn't find an avocado that was ripe enough Ooh, Ooh. that's a bee um they probably think i'm a flower <laughs> uh. <laughs> listen so now this makes my life 10 times easier because i can make two things at once and i don't have to wait and then my rice won't get cold while i'm cooking my other stuff Thank you, thank you, thank you. Honestly, this gives me the feeling of like two, like I literally have a stove top because I'm gonna be honest, the amount of propane it would take to run that stove is gonna be too much. So honestly, this is gonna save me so much time and I'm honestly going to be able to cook, cook. And I wanted to do mukbangs in the camper once I go on the road. I know you guys are getting an exclusive. So I wanted to do mukbangs and show y'all how I figure out how to cook while I'm on, while I'm camper living. So this is amazing. And they both come with the case so I can put them in the cabinet. So neat. Yo, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's awesome. Yo, you guys are honestly making me feel like I'm good. Like, I'm really, you guys are really setting me up for success. And I can, like, let me tell you something. This really are things that I was just bearing with because I didn't have the money. So it's like, okay, I just got to do what I got to do until I can get money. So the fact that you guys are sending me these things, honestly, it's a big help. It's an extreme big help because th these, are, these are expenses that I knew I was going to have, but I was like, Okay, I'll figure them out as I go. Now that burden and that stress is taken off of me. I don't have to worry as much. 
honestly like you guys make me feel like this is possible and it's because of the love and support that you guys give me honestly like i know i'd be joking around and it feels like christmas and i talk about all these superficial things you know but like i said in the last video christmas came no matter if i got presents or not so the fact that i'm experiencing this this doesn't feel like a superficial like wow look at everything i'm getting like these are things that i actually need and i'm going to use in the camper and it is going to make my life easier it is going to make my this transition and, and traveling and going after my dreams guys i'm gonna i'm gonna try to travel i'm gonna work 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 here are my plans what i'm planning on trying to do is go to a different state, get a job, work for a couple of months, build my money up, go to another state. While I'm in that state, explore and travel a little bit. Travel the state a little bit, you know? Even, even if I don't wanna work a full-time job, if I can only land a part-time job, maybe I can afford it. And it's things like this that I don't have to worry about that gets that stress off of my head. I don't have to, I don't have to work, work, work so that I can get a stove top. I don't have to work, work, work so I could get a mattress protector. But these things are what's going to help me out a lot because there are bugs. I have to flog the camper. I have to flog the camper for bugs and stuff like that. So, you know, these things help and I can never have too many fans. These fans honestly can go in the kitchen. All these little things help because, you know, without a generator, honestly, guys, a generator. I know that you guys sit here and I say, I read a lot in my comments like solar paneling is the way to go solar paneling is the way to go and I've been doing a lot of research on RVs and campers and solar paneling is the way to go you know and, and what better source than the Sun I mean the Sun gives us so much it's because of the Sun that plants and trees and vegetables and things that we eat can grow you know for God's sakes I'm wearing a leaf in my head honestly so you know to harness energy from the Sun and be able to fully live you know fully live um off grid is ideal i would love that so you know i'm pushing and striving forward to try to you know get these jobs for however little time i can take them honestly am i planning on staying here in the south no it's realistically it's not safe here you know I'm sitting here and I love this. I love this. I love this little spot, but I also got to be very aware. And I'm not saying that that's not going to be everywhere I go. You always have to be aware in life. Let's be real. But I also want to start experiencing life and not being so afraid all the time. I'm tired of being afraid. I feel like Celie when she left Mr. and she was like, she had had it and that's what i feel i feel like i've had it with life i feel like i had it with life and i'm tired i'm tired of of conforming and and living in fear because of other people's ignorance i have the right to live and i have the right to thrive and i'm going after my dreams and nothing's gonna stop me and if you don't like it then hey you don't have to i'm cool with that like there's so many other channels the fact that you took time to sit here and watch minds and spread hate, really, that's what you do with the time in your life. Like, I like to think about positive things to do with all the hours that I have been blessed in a day. You never know. You never know what life is going to throw at you. And I try to appreciate every single moment because every single moment is a gift because you don't know. Just the honest truth. So... I try to make the best with my time and I'm finding a way to do it. What am I waiting for? I'm 30 years old. I've I've been through so many trials and tribulations. I've I've been back in the same negative and toxic situation because I realized that I grew up in a very dysfunctional household. I, you know, I grew up in a house that I experienced immense abuse. That's just the truth. Um, I had to hide who I was for, you know, 
13 years. I was living a double life since the day I was born, honestly. I know you guys feel like, oh, this is the decision, this is a choice, but I always knew what I was. I always, always knew, and I knew that I had to put on a performance because what I was wasn't accepted. And I learned that early on through abuse and trauma. And I did what I needed to do to survive, but I couldn't do it anymore. And at the age of 13, I decided to thrive and I decided to leave. And since then, all I expected in life was bad because I thought that that was all I was worth because that's all I had experienced in life is that I was worthless and I was bad and and who I was was bad and a sin and all that. So I took my life until now as I was getting penance. If you guys grew up, I grew up very religious. Penance is like the punishment you pay for your sins that you bear. And I took life as I'm just paying my penance. I'm just paying, I'm paying for, you know, my sins and I, it's just, it's just the cross that I have to bear and I have to make the best of it. I'm being honest with you guys. And now this is the first time I'm really learning. I'm honestly learning every single day how to dream, how to dream of a life that I feel, hold on. Like, I feel like I deserve more. I never felt like I was worth more than the bad experiences that I was stuck in. I never thought that I was worth wanting more. And now, I'm learning that I don't know, sometimes I feel like a failure. You know what I'm saying? I grew up in a household where, you know those report cards that was in those thick cardboards and they, the teacher would write a message in the back. I remember all of my report cards used to say, Michelle has so much promise. She, you know, um, she's very, she's very, um, She's very talkative, no matter where I put her, she's very talkative. You know, me as a child in school, I remember the first time I got bullied for being girly. I remember in first grade, when you used to have rug time, none of the boys wanted to sit next to me because I was the one that was weird. Like, ooh, you're acting like a girl. Only girls play with that. Why are you playing with that? Like little kids, they only know what they're taught. So of course, you know, growing up in the 90s, um, 1990, it was different times then. So there was no language for this. So it was boys play with boys toys and girls play with girls toys. And if you didn't play with the right type of toys, it's, ooh, why are you doing that? That's, no. Boys don't play with that. So I knew from very early on and I was singled out for it very, very early on. And I was just doing what made me happy and I just kept on getting in trouble for it, you know? <sighs> I don't get it. I was such a, I was so young. I was so young to think that, you know, now that I look at it as an adult, I look back and I'm like, all those children, I can only imagine the households they, were grow they grew up in. The fact that they were so young and they were, you know, already displaying such um, lack of understanding because of what they were taught. It's like, as a parent, you have such a responsibility. You are shaping these these humans into who they're gonna be in life and that's such a big responsibility and if i ever get blessed with that opportunity to be a mother i want i want to instill so much love you know honestly i 
we call ourselves the house of realness and some of y'all say mother sister auntie i want to be your mother whatever the fact that we're family shows me that we can love each other as a family we don't have to be physically blood related to be family and just exhibit love i feel so happy when i'm on live with you guys and i see you guys helping each other answering each other sh giving each other shout outs yeah guys are recognizing each other it feels so I, it feels so close-knit it feels so special that honestly yo honestly i'm glad i'm glad i'm glad you know what would be so pretty guys if i oh that would be so pretty um if i had a white a white felt tip liner or maybe oh that would be so dope i've seen those graphic liners with the felt tip i think rihanna has some uh um where it's like bright neon colors imagine if i did a yellow cat eye with a thin white line on top of it to go with this dress. That would look so dupe, super, super dope, right? Oh, you could see it, right? Like imagine, oh, with some yellow um, mascara or some white mascara just to really bring out a different look. I wanna experiment with makeup, but makeup is so expensive, guys, like honestly. Maybe Rihanna will see me and she'll make me a Fenty girl. Rihanna, look, I know COVID is happening and all of that, but make me a Fenty girl. Like, honestly, I love your products. I wish I could. I, one of my favorite products that you made is the Fairy, the Fairy Bomb. That's like my all time favorite. And then the second all time favorite is How Many Carrots? I actually have that in my eyelids right now. Like, look, how many carrots right here? Oh, you see that? That's like blue mascara that's runny. This mascara is so bad. I think it's because it's so old, but it's the only blue mascara I have from years ago, but whatever. But I have how many carrots in the corner of my eyes. Um, I'm going to wrap this up and I'm going to get out of here, guys. Um, I love y'all for watching and putting up with my long-winded craziness. Like, when I tell y'all this is me raw, real, unedited, this is me. Like, I be, I be all over the place. I be all over the place, but I need to get myself centered and focused. And I need to... Okay, I, I have so many things I gotta do. I know, it's crazy. I have so many good things coming up for you guys. I hope that you like the direction I kind of want to go for my channel um you guys are getting an exclusive if you've waited this long leave a sunflower emoji in the comments below to show that you actually made it this far um i've been thinking about transitioning my page my youtube channel into something that's going to align with camper living but in my style okay um so well, I also got inspiration from two places, but I'm not going to give that away because if I told y'all where I got the inspirations from, you guys would know where it's going and I want this to be a surprise. Guys, I want you to feel like you are in something exclusive right now, honestly. I have been playing with this idea and thinking about this concept and I'm liking it. I'm feeling super, super good about it and I think that it's going to it's gonna it's gonna be a fun time on my channel so stick stay stay tuned stay tuned because i got some stuff bubbling up look at that i love this like oh this is such a moment can we end this with a pose it's pose it's pose it's pose Ooh, that looks awkward, guys, honestly. I'm trying to give y'all angles. What if I give y'all something like this? Ooh. Ooh, daring. That's risque. Uh, I feel so inspired. 
this yellow dress brings me so much joy guys every t uh, how could i not like honestly how can i wear a dress like this and not feel so blessed in life i am alive right listen i am alive and because i'm alive i get to wear a beautiful yellow dress like this uh honestly i'm lucky i'm the lucky one i'm the lucky one i'm the lucky one that i am alive and i get to wear this beautiful yellow dress with pockets all right i'm gonna pack up and i'm gonna get started on the camper and i think i want to try to go to goodwill and find a letter opener like an old fancy one one that looks like a little sword or something i love you guys for watching mama out <laughs>